passed a screen test at boot camp. That, that's it. I didn't realize how um, I didn't realize how dangerous a maneuver that was. Like my entire career, for the people who don't know, if you don't have a seal contract, I tell people, do not go to MEPS. Do not sign that contract because now they own you. Yeah. And they do. If I would have gotten sick, if um, if the whole class would have gotten the flu and they just don't give you the screen test, I'm going to the fleet for four years. Like That's a long way to get back from. Yeah. Um, no A school. So if I didn't make it through BUDS, I was going to be a deck seaman, be a bosun's mate. I didn't get an. I already had a trident. I didn't have a rating. Damn. Yeah. So uh, just for the audience, that they don't know what the hell an A school is. An A school, basically, um, I kind of describe it as it's almost a marketing play of the teams. Like they need SEALs, but so many people quit that what they do is they find all the jobs in the Navy that have a shortage. Most of them are the ones you have to be either really intelligent to get into or the complete shit jobs. And uh, it's kind of a mixed bag of nuts there. You pick one, you go through the, the training, you go to BUDS, uh, whatever, 80, 85% people quit, and then they fill those job descriptions. So so you didn't have any A school. You went right into you went right from boot camp to BUDS. So were you 17 when you got to BUDS? Mm-hmm. No shit. Yeah, he... Um... He was getting ready to retire, so the way we did it is he retired, I think on the same day that I became active, we did a one-for-one one swap. We had the exact same name, he's a junior, I'm the third, and we just swapped him. So he pulled strings, um, I graduated boot camp, I came back to Little Creek, I was a white shirt, a little scruff rollback waiting for my buds class. Damn. Did that for three months and flew out to California with a sea bag and sent it. I didn't have a car, I didn't have a driver's license the entire time I was back, I didn't have anything. Like I didn't, I didn't know anything. Like my senior year, I was in buds. I knew yeah. nothing. I didn't know anything. I didn't have a cell phone. I had nothing. I just sent it. So you grew up in the teams. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you take me on training trips. It was a blast. I got the AP Hill for the demo courses and a bunch of the guys I worked with later in the teams. I remember them when they were new guys. And they remember me. Damn, that's crazy. Being out there taking a skateboard out of AP Hill and doing kickflips over cases of beer for the guys. And yeah, man. <laughs> oh, dude. Like, we did the whole thing. I was like, my childhood was fucking awesome. That's it was. Cool. Like, growing up in the teams, it was cool. But my entire time, because I never saw the reality of war, um, I thought Buds was, I thought that's what we were doing for, for a career. 